hi welcome now I'm going to show you how to solve a allocation problem using branch and bound method in Excel okay what uh, I have here is that uh, uh, four people and uh, four jobs okay our objective is to allocate a person to a particular job a job okay and one person can have only one job similarly a job can have uh, only one person to do that okay and uh, this is the cost matrix uh, for uh, each person if you allocate a person to a job uh, what is the cost involved okay this cost may be in thousands of dollars or hundreds of dollars uh, okay so this is two not five dollar for uh, two not five for uh, person one to assign to job one okay i make it as two not five dollars okay so then uh, person uh, one to job two is 332 dollars uh, similarly for a person one to job four is 333 dollars uh, okay something like this okay our objective is to allocate a person to a job uh, and uh, uh, and keep the cost the total cost minimum okay that is our objective and uh, you know in branch and uh, bound method you need to first uh, get the first row the person one to be assigned to job one and uh, do the remaining sub matrix uh, minimum and uh, find the lower uh, find the bound and uh, similarly for the total cost involved and uh, similarly for the assign the person one to job two then the remaining matrix you find the uh, lower bounds for each row and uh, again find the total cost uh, just like that okay for uh, again for job 3 and job 4 if the same person is allocated to job 1 job 2 job 3 job 4 what is the amount then get the minimum of the bounds uh, okay minimum of the lower bounds so then that matrix you will proceed with the person 2 okay i hope uh, you know the branch and bound method already and uh, now i am going to show you how to formulate that one in excel worksheet uh, and uh, do it uh, very fast okay what we need to do is you just take this matrix and uh, copy and paste it here okay now you must know that uh, uh, we are going to play with the minimums and uh, sum. okay so what we need to do is you need to our first step is to find a minimum of first row okay S similarly for each row okay minimum of second row and minimum of third row and so on okay this will give the minimums and you need to find out what is the sum sum of the full minimums okay so whatever cell you are going to select uh, that sum you want it here okay so this is the bounds uh, achieved by each selection okay so then what i have is i just make a conditional formatting so that we will know that uh, what is the minimum okay for viewing purpose okay so what i'll do is uh, home home conditional formatting then uh, top or bottom rules uh, then bottom 10 items you go there and uh, make it as one we want a uh, bottom one item which is the mini the lowest uh, amount okay and uh, then uh, you select your favorite color i select the red uh, red fill okay now similarly for each row just this is for us to know what is the minimum just to view it okay it's nothing to do with the procedure okay because we already put a formula to find the minimum bottom 10 items uh, select one similarly for the fourth row okay now what happens here is that uh, once you have done this part okay what we are going to do we are going to fix uh, person one to job one then person one to job two job three and job four so we are going to in the first branching 
okay we are going to do it for four times okay because we are going to consider the first row of the cost matrix in other words we are going to consider only for the person one okay so uh, probably i just give a color for this and there's some minimums and uh, there's some probably yellow okay yellow is already there probably orange okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to just uh, select this matrix okay we are going to do it for four times uh, because why the we have four jobs okay first iteration we are going to do it for person one but to every job okay so you paste it here one two three and four okay for the first branching what we need to do is you are going to fix a uh, person one to job one if you fix a uh, person one to job one obviously you know that person 1 cannot have the job 2 right you already fixed person 1 to job 1 and uh, a job can have only one person one person can have only one job so you cannot have this similarly the job 1 also cannot allocate to other people so all rows and columns uh, are x okay just put x then it will automatically make uh, the uh, the sub matrix uh, minimum here because it is x alpha number alpha alpha text it won't consider that one for uh, calculating the minimum the function minimum okay so out of these three it is giving the minimums so you got uh, the bound 842 Wh if you fix the person one to job job one similarly per now fix the person one to job two so the other things are x you cannot fix the person one to other jobs similarly uh, the jobs uh, job 2 cannot have other people also automatically the branching is done and uh, the nodes value you got it already 808 okay because we already put a minimum the formula already calculates the minimum out of these three what is the minimum out of these three what is the minimum the out of these three what is the minimum all this is done already okay then go for a person one to job three very simple just make others or just keep uh, three value the others put x on the row side similarly for the column also the similar okay now you got a thousand sixty eight is the amount if you give the person one to job three okay now give the person one to job four okay similarly job 4 cannot have a person 2 person 3 or person 4 okay so this is 8 not 4 now we did uh, all four uh, calculations out of this four calculation you need to find which is the lower out of all these bounds uh, which is the lower bound which is 8 not 4 obviously so we are going to use this matrix to proceed with the for the person 2 okay so copy this is very simple just paste it now this is the matrix we are going to work with but you can see person 2 have three choices job 1 job 2 and job 3 job 4 cannot so it can be done for three different ways so paste it three times okay so we pasted it three times okay why we pasted three times because the person two have has only three chances okay only he has three choice either to job one job two or job three he cannot assign to job four because we already fixed the person one for job four okay so now when we go for a person two okay again do the same thing what we have done 
for the person one but our matrix is only this okay so what we are going to do we are going to fix uh, 346 which is person two to job one and uh, we, we will do the same kind of branching and iteration okay what we are going to do uh, we fix uh, 346 to person 2 that is job 1 to person 2 so the person 2 cannot assign to job 2 and job 3 okay similarly the job 1 also cannot assign to person 3 and person 4 because we already fixed person 2 to job 1 okay once you put axx automatically the the matrix is changing and finding the minimum and according to that we got the total amount okay similarly for now we are going to fix it for person 2 to job 2 which is 123 so you put x for other jobs this person 2 cannot assign to job 1 and job 3 same time job 2 cannot assign to person 3 and 4 also so we the 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 the, the point where you are selecting right you make it the row and column of that point into x that's it very simple okay now you got the 804 similarly for you are going to fix uh, 128 okay this this cell that is person 2 to job 3 so just make the same row other things x other cells x similarly down cells also x okay you now you got the three total cost okay fixing the person 2 okay take the minimum okay this is the minimum going to work out this is the promising okay because 804 is the total cost okay this is the matrix is promising than these two so take this and go for the next uh, branching or uh, iteration okay what we are going to do we are going to fix the person 3 to any of the jobs uh, but person 3 got only two choices uh, because person 1 and person 2 assigned to person 1 assigned to job 4 and person 2 assigned to job 2 so only person 3 and 4 is remaining and the jobs are 1 and 3 is remaining for person 3 so we are going to do it for person 3 okay so only two choices so put it to twice paste it twice okay now the same thing now okay for the person 3 keep uh, one cell and make it x for other so now, now person 3 you have uh, job 1 and job 3 first time you make it job 1 available for him and job 3 x okay similarly once you fix the person 3 to job 1 job 1 cannot have the other person person 4 okay that's it so you got a uh, uh, 1257 okay total cost similarly now you fix 174 for person 3 389 you make it x so since you are making 174 you go down also this uh, job 3 cannot be available for person 4 enter now you can see 804 is the uh, lower bound okay you can see here 1257 this is minimum this gives the minimum cost so this is the promising matrix for next person person 4 to work on but person 4 has only one choice so this is the actual answer okay copy and paste okay you can see person 4 has only one choice which is 174 person 4 is assigned to job 1 and the total cost is 804 okay this is nothing but uh, this is the optimal solution for the assignment of these jobs to these four people okay person 1 is job 4 person 2 is job 2 person 3 is job 3 and person 4 is in job 4 interesting uh, uh, solution okay so this is the this way you can uh, uh, make the branch and bound to achieve the answer for this assignment problem and uh, 
this is very fast once you know this matrix you just cut and paste make x okay you know the concept then uh, you no need to do any other thing just make x x x x and you will achieve the answer it's more uh, faster than doing in the paper branching and leaves and notes okay so i hope uh, this video is helpful to you this answer is person one to job four person 2 to job 2, person 3 to job 3 and person 4 to job 1 the total cost is 804 ok so um, hope uh, uh, this uh, example of allocation problem helps you to work on uh, branch and bound method in excel sheet ok I hope you like my video and please uh, subscribe to my channel and God bless you